It is time to start the finals. Please welcome your quiz master, Lloyd Saldana. Hello and a very, very warm welcome to yet another quarterfinal episode of the Wipro Erdian Sustainability Quiz, the 8th edition. It's quarterfinal number 5. We already have four semi-finalists. From here on is a battle for the other four. In quarter number, uh, quarterfinal number 5, we will begin with introducing our four quarterfinalists. I will begin with the first of my quarterfinalists. This is Animesh Patak from Sri Govindram Seksarya Institute of Institu uh, Institute of Technology and Science. Animesh, how does it feel to be in a quarterfinal? Uh, it really feels good. Like um, I registered for it and winning, getting to the top thirty-two is a great feeling. Absolutely, I think you got that spot on. Uh, qualifying among thousands of participants being in the top 32 itself is an achievement and congratulations to, to you on that and I mm -hmm. hope you do more and you qualify further ahead are you prepared for it? not a lot but yeah I have read some <laughs> not a lot I understand they have uh, classes they have assignments they have projects to do and in the meantime they take the time off to read up and come for an event like this is very very nice and best of luck Anim Animesh I hope you do really Thank well you. Okay, the second of my uh, quarterfinalists is someone who's been here before. Uh, it's Kautuk Raj from Triple IT Bangalore. Kautuk, welcome to this quiz again. Um, as compared Hi. to last year, Kautuk, you've had time to prepare this year or uh, too busy trying to find a job and trying to get things done? Uh, mostly the latter, but I think I will try to do justice to the uh, stage and the quiz also, okay. hopefully. Wow, wow, that's that's nicely put. That's nicely put, and best of luck to you. Uh, I will uh, catch up more with you during the quiz, but let me go on to introduce my third participant. This is Kavi Priyan S from RMK Engineering College. Kavi Priyan, welcome to the quarterfinal, and first of all, congratulations that you made it till here. How does this feel? It's feel really exciting. This is the first time I've ever taken this quiz. Okay, and I made it in the top thirty-two. Is a great feeling for me. Absolutely. On the first attempt, that must be exhilarating. And uh, preparation-wise, have you had time to prepare? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I, I'll do my best. Okay, then. Best of luck to you, Kavi Priyan. And from Kavi Priyan, Thank we you. go on to our last quarterfinalist in quarterfinal number five. Rituna V from RMK Engineering College. Rituna, welcome to the quiz. Welcome to the quarterfinal. How does it feel to be in a quarterfinal? I feel proud, sir. Wow. Uh, it's nice to hear that. It's nice to hear that. And have you had time to prepare? Somewhat, sir. Somewhat. Okay. Understandably so. College life is not an easy time. And uh, best of luck to you, Rituna. And uh, best of luck to all four of you, actually. And I hope the best person moves on to the uh, semi-final by being a champion here at this quarter-final. So without further ado, I need to start my segments, but I need to first introduce my two segments. I have two segments today in this quiz. The first segment is called uh, Earthian Sustainability, and it's all about general questions from the world of sustainability. Plus 10 if you get it right, minus 5 if you get it wrong. And the key part there, wait for me to tell you it's your turn to answer the question. The second segment, of course, is Erdian Sustain Tech, which is sustainable technology specific, uh, an entire segment dedicated to. Here you have 10 questions, 
plus 10 if you get it right, minus 5 if you get it wrong. Nothing changes there, but the type of questions would change and it's uh, on a particular topic. That's the only differentiation between the two segments. So everybody's ready. Any doubts that you guys have? Okay, no one's got any doubts. So let's begin this first. I will uh, unlock my buzzers. Can you all just try your buzzers once for me, please? Uh, okay, Kautuk's also in. Rituna? Okay, everybody is uh, buzzed in, so we all have buzzers. Let's begin with the first of my questions. Question number one, but before that, let's start with my first segment. Here it comes. <laughs> Question number one on segment one, Earthy and Sustainability. This is a visual question. All you need to tell me is with which SDG would you associate this infographic? Global manufacturing has uh, rebound from the pandemic, but LDCs are left behind. Small scale industries lack access to financial support for recovery. Passenger airline industry is still struggling to recoup catastrophic losses. Which SDG am I talking about? You don't need to give me the number. If, even if you tell me what this SDG is about, I'm, I'll give you points. Anybody on the buzzer? Nobody on the buzzer. Okay, first question. Uh, stumbling them a little, but that's okay. No buzzers. Let me give you the answer. This is SDG 9, Industry, Innovation, and Infrastructure. I think all three elements were covered in that graphic there for you, but early days so don't worry don't worry at all lots more questions to go question number two here we go ISO 17742 2015 provides a general approach for calculation of what with indicator based and measure based methods for the geographical entities countries regions oh someone's on the buzzer Kautuk fastest Kavipriya next but Kautuk you get a chance to answer the question what is the answer to this uh, this is the energy efficiency and the amount of energy we can save by using certain methods. So, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so my answer is energy efficiency. Put your hand. I mean, I would love to say put your hands together. I'm so used to saying that. Just that there's no one here to put your hands together for. So if you're watching this at home. Please put your hands together for him because that's a lovely answer. That is energy efficiency and energy savings that I was talking about that this ISO refers to or provides a general approach for calculation. I will uh, just clear the buzzer. Yes, I did. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Next question. What are we talking about or what is being celebrated here? 3rd of October 2022. Mind the gap. Leave no one and place behind was their theme. It Anybody? Oh, Rituna. Okay, that was Rituna first. I had cleared the buzzer when you pressed. Yes, Rituna, go for it. You have to unmute first. National Food Advocacy, sir. So, which day? National Fruit Advocacy, sir. No, no, no. Minus five. Good try, though. Good try. Kautuk, you, f you w went for the buzzer and stopped yourself. So did Animesh. Uh, so either of you have an answer. No points, though. No. Uh, Animesh? World Habitat Day, I guess. You, I saw you going for the buzzer. Why didn't you go for the buzzer? That is the word. Little, little bit nervous for the minus five, I guess. It's okay. If you get one minus five and you take another plus ten, that becomes plus five. You should have gone for this. Uh, but Rituna gets a minus 5. Good attempt. Uh, I mean, good non-attempt, Animesh. You should have got that plus 10 there. I will clear the buzzer and I will go on to the next question. Here we go. Simple and easy. What type of uh, renewable energy are we talking about from this storyboard? This, uh, what you see on the Rance River was one of the world's first power stations for this. EDF is uh, the electricity company from France and this started in 1966 or the first one was in 1990, uh, 1966. What type of renewable... 
Kavi Priyan. Yes, Kavi Priyan. So, nuclear energy. I, 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 I'm showing you river, ma. Why would you go on nuclear energy? Minus five. Minus five. Kautok, you can try. No points. Yeah, by the windmill uh, on the EDF logo, I think it's wind energy. On a river? Um, this is the world's first tidal power station on the on river runs. Tidal. Tidal is what I was lo uh, looking at uh, for the uh, um, renewable energy source there. Minus five to Kavi Priyan. Kavi Priyan, Rituna, Animesh and Kautuk, don't be so nervous. It's okay. There are so, mu so many more questions, so many more places to score your points. Next one. Here we go. DI is a watering strategy that can be applied a uh, watering strategy that can be applied by different types of irrigation application methods. Oh, oh, oh. Kavi Priyan and Kaustuko going fast, fast, fast. Yes, Kavi Priyan. Deficit irrigation. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I like the confidence in his voice and I like the nod that uh, Kautuk's giving. Oh, I should have gone for it. Animesh, again, did you stop yourself this time? Uh, I was reading full question, so... <laughs> Okay, but that is a plus 10 to Kavi Priyan for a very, very good answer. I will move on to question number 6. This one is simple. Okay, no, no, no. I'm never going to jinx this because when every time I say it gets jinxed, which process has these three major phases? Mesophilic phase, thermophilic phase, and the maturation phase. Kautuk this time. Yes, Kautuk. Uh, these are the different phases in composting. Plus 10. Plus 10. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That is the different phases of composting. And from composting, uh, for my next question, I have a warning for you guys. Yeah, yeah, Animesh buzzer is working. Don't worry. Uh, I have a warning for you guys. It could, when you look at the question, it could be either or. There are usually two answers that come to people's minds when you look at this question. Okay, so be careful when you give me the answer. I'm just, just warning you just in case. Here we go. Save our species. T-shirts with multiple logos. Whose campaign was this? They actually replaced their own logo with different animals as a part of the campaign. They have never done that before. In 2018, when they came up with this campaign, they replaced their logo with all these other animals. Their logo is also an animal, but they did not use their animal. Which world famous company is this? There are two. Animesh, yes, Animesh. Save our species, like, like, oh, like coast, I guess. Are you asking or are you telling? No, no, I'm sure, like coast. Good answer, good answer. Because the, the, the croc crocodile is the yeah, other crocodile answer. Is the yes, animal. yes, yes. That's the other answer that comes to people's mind. That's why I said, be careful. I want only one of them. Lacoste is the ones who came up with the Save Our Species campaign. Plus 10 to you, Animesh. Now he's finally getting back out of that nervousness and answering questions. That's nice to see. We will move on to the next one. Question number eight. He was a journalist who wrote the first report on the state of India's environment in 1982. Oh, 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 Kavi Priyan and Animesh on the buzzer, but Kavi Priyan went first. Yes, Kavi Priyan. Anil, Anil Kumar Agarwal. Good answer. Good answer. Anil Kumar Agarwal. This is nice. This is really good quizzing. Very nice answer. The first journalist to have written the state of India's environment. Way back in 1982, who I was talking about was Anil Kumar Agarwal. Plus 10 to you. From there, I go on to next question. Question number nine. The Bamako Convention, negotiated by 12 uh, African nations of the Organization of African Unity at Bamako, Mali in 1991, came into force in 1998. My question is, it prohibits the import Kautuk Raj. Yes, Kautuk. Um, so what they do is they get waste, uh, waste material and waste water and dump it in Africa. So they want to prohibit that. Basically, to make sure hazardous waste is not dumped in Africa. Mm -hmm. Plus 10 to you. Good answer. Good answer. Moving on. I like the way you guys are going on the buzzer. This is nice. Question number 10. Identify this person for me. Come on. Really? Kavi Priyan. Yes, Kavi Priyan. Bupendra Yadav. And who is he? Bupendra Yadav. 
No, I know that's his name, but what's Why do we know him? He's one of some BJP's. He is the honorable minister for environment, forest and climate change. That's the reason I have him in a sustainability quiz. Plus then to you Mr. Bhupendra Yadav is the right answer. Uh, that scoreboard is suddenly starting to look very very interesting to me. Uh, you all can keep an eye on that uh, while I continue with my questions. Slightly tricky one. I need a precise answer so be careful when you're answering this. Here we go. This is both a transdisciplinary and interdisciplinary field of academic research addressing the interdependence and co-evolution of human economics. Kautuk Raj. Yes, Kautuk. Um, so, uh, it's ecological economics. He read the question well. He read the question well. Did you know the answer or did you figure it out? Um, so, it's partly related to human economy and partly to ecosystems so that's how i figured perfect, it out perfect 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 very very good answer plus 10 to kautuk on that that is ecological economics moving on to question number 12 here we go unesco distinguishes the two thus x is often thought of as a long term goal while y kavi priyan yes kavi priyan Unmute, please. No? Sustainability. Sorry? What is X and what is Y? Quick, come on. So sustainability. Okay, that is one of them. What is Y? It's in development. You're saying X is sustainability and Y is sustainable development. Yes, sir. But why are you not sure about the answer? It's offshore. <laughs> sustainability is, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is actually the right answer. X is sustainability. Y is sustainable development. They are two different things, but they uh, come together and work as one in synergies to provide for the planet. Plus 10 to you, Kavi Priyan. That would mean the, uh, you're on 35, Kautuk on 40, and I still have an entire section to go. But before that, let's close up the first segment of this quiz by moving on to the next question. It's a visual question. With which organization would you associate this campaign? The logo also... Oh, Bazari said, sorry. The logo also... Oh, okay, Rituna this time. Yes, Rituna. Go on. Yes, Rituna. Do you have an answer for me? I can't hear you. You need to unmute. I can't hear you. Sorry, Rituna. You have to unmute. I can't hear you. Earth Overshoot Day. So, OD is Overshoot Day. Are you sure? Yes, sir. 10 points. 10 points. Well done. Very, very well done. This is the Earth Overshoot Day based on we move the date just so that we are safer as a planet. Plus 10 to you, Rituna, and mute your mic a little, please. And see, like I said, Animesh, even if you take a negative, one question can turn that negative into a positive. So don't worry about negatives. Moving on to my next one, the penultimate one on uh, this particular segment. To truly transform our economy, protect our uh, security, and save our planet from the ravages of climate change, we need to ultimately make clean, renewable energy the profitable kind of energy. This is a quote. Okay, Kavi Priyan. Yes, Kavi Priyan. Yes, quickly. Obama, Obama, Barack Obama. Plus 10, plus 10, Barack Obama is the right answer. Which world leader would you associate this quote on renewable energy was my question. Barack Obama is a very, very good answer. The last one is another visual question. I have uh, cleared the buzzers. Yes, I have. The, uh, identify the campaign or whose advertisement is this? Fashion claims more victims than you think. Very, very famous campaign. Oh, Kavi Priyan again. Yes, Kavi Priyan. 
WWF, so World Wildlife Fund. Plus 10. Plus 10. No, oh, he said he's tried to prepare and he's come well prepared. Plus 10 to you. WWF, a World Wildlife Fund's campaign of uh, fashion claims more victims than you can think. Okay, that brings me to the end of my first segment. Let's quickly have a look at that overall Earthian points. Animation on 10, Kautuk on 40, Kavi Priyan on 55, Rituna on 5. Uh, only on 5 because she answered a question very, very well, but she took a negative before that. But uh, this battle of 40 to 55 could go down the wire and could just make this really interesting. Let's go on to my next segment. It's called Erdian Sustain Tech. Here it comes. <laughs> On the Erdian Sustain Tech, you're going to get three questions which are fill in the blanks, three questions which are lateral thinking, and the last four questions which are either text or visual based. It's a mixed bag. Plus 10 if you get it right, minus 5 if you get it wrong. Only one person gets to answer the question. I've cleared the buzzer. Question number one is a missing boxes or a fill in the blank kind of a question. Here we go. The ESG investing framework evaluates three aspects when making non-financial valuations of a company's performance and risk profile. If E is environment, Kautuk Raj, fastest. Yes, Kautuk. Uh, social. S stands for social is plus 10 to you. Nicely done. Plus 10 on uh, that. Uh, that's 50 to 55. I like that scoreboard. Next one. Another mixed... Uh, Missing boxes uh, comprises a diverse range of products, services, and processes that harness renewable material and energy sources, dramatically reduce the use of limited natural resources, and reduce animesh this time. Yes, animesh. Clean tech. As obvious as that. Good answer. Very, very good answer. Sometimes the, these are long questions, but it's a simple, straightforward answer that gets you those points. Plus 10 to you, Animesh. Moving on to the third one. This is a generic term referring to facilities that produce batteries for electric vehicles on a large scale. Kavi Priyan this time. Yes, Kavi Priyan. It's Jiga Factory. Giga Factory, Jiga Factory, whichever way you want to pronounce that. That's a Plus 10 to you. Good one, good one. That takes him to 65. Kautuk on 50. Anime is trying to catch up at 20. This is getting interesting. I've got another seven questions, so that's a lot of points remaining. Number four. It's a lateral thinking question. You get two uh, clues, or rather two visuals. Put them together and give me a story. What am I showing you here? Anybody on the buzzer? Yanko designs and there's a barcode with the word cabbage on it. Anybody? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, no buzzers. No buzzers. What I'm looking for here or what the connection is, is it's a f it's too late. I said no buzzers, but go on, Kathak. No points. Go on. Um, so uh, the barcode will tell the freshness of uh, the product in and case in this case the cabbage. What were you waiting for? What were you uh, waiting for? I was just thinking. Ten <laughs> points. Come on, man! You could have got that ten points. Okay, no points though because I, I very clearly said uh, no more buzzers. But I will go on to the next one. Freshness barcode is what the connection was in that previous question. Uh, tell me, um, th these are I'm going to show you uh, examples. These are examples of what. Is the question or these are examples for what something to do with the world of computing Kautuk Raj fastest yes Kautuk um, so uh, AMD and all the co companies are into chips and we want to monitor how energy efficient or how much power that these chips are consuming so it's for power management and energy management of uh, chips and uh, bitcoin mining and other things can you give me a one word for that you're absolutely uh, right i'm not saying you're wrong you're absolutely right i will mm -hmm. give you 10 points but you explain mm -hmm. the answer to me can you concise it into one word um for two words i will go for power management uh, not power management but you 
you literally explain the answer the, the mm-hmm. what the process is the process you explain the process that process mm-hmm. is called under volting under volting mm-hmm. is the process you explain the process of trying to adjust and adjust the voltages in the uh, cpus which reduce the amount of heat produced and thereby be, uh, making sure that there's energy that is saved you uh, give me the answer but, uh, but i'm telling you that it's also called under volting plus 10 to you uh, kautha good answer on that uh, moving on to my next one one more lateral thinking what are these two into Oh, Kautuk again? Yes, Kautuk. Um, these are uh, electric scooters. They are both into electric scooter. They are both electric scooter startups. Is a plus ten to you. Good answer. That takes you to seventy. Kavi Priyan on sixty-five, and I have a whole of four questions remaining. This might just go down to the wire. Keep watching. I've got four more questions. Here we go. This is question number seven on your screen. Who's podcast is this innovation frontlines a podcast rituna on the bus yes rituna unmute 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 rituna can you quickly unmute ma i can't hear you i can't hear you you need to unmute international energy agency international energy agency has a podcast by the name of innovation frontline and she goes on the buzzer so confidently answering that plus 10 to you rituna very good answer plus 10 to you uh, you get yourself to 15 there on the scoreboard that's a podcast by the international energy agency and they're talking about and sharing stories about clean energy innovators across the world moving on then uh, let me clear the buzzer to question number 8 who does daisy belong to daisy is a robo that will recover useful material from uh, devices uh, and give them a second life okay kavi priyan on the buzzer yes kavi priyan sure thanks apple apple okay. owns daisy the robo plus 10 to you that is nice that takes him to 75 and 70 oh neck and neck i'm loving this i've got only two questions only two questions let's see what happens there here we go which former nerd singer and hat aficionado is a owner and investor in bionic yarn oh ho oh, oh. ho kavi priyan yes kavi priyan it's farrel williams sir Plus ten, plus ten. Kauto, kauto, kauto. You waited too long for that. You waited way too long for that, uh, and uh, you are so going to remember. What is that? What is that answer that you missed out, which you didn't go on the buzzer? I think uh, the barcode uh, freshness ba- one. Freshness barcode. Why didn't you go on that? Okay, last one. Here we go. Last question. This. is at the joint european taurus or jet facility uh in oxfordshire uk is a giant donut shaped machine called a tokamak tokamak t o k a m a k tokamak is the most well developed and well funded approach to what type of alternate energy kautuk on the buzzer yes kautuk uh this is nuclear fission freshness barcode i'm still annoyed with freshness barcode how could you do this to yourself nuclear fission uh, fission is the right answer gets himself a plus 10 but little too late little too late outstanding amount of quizzing let's just quickly have a look at the final scoreboard outstanding amount of quizzing here today kavi priyan on the go never never stop kautuk just went late had he got that one more answer that would have been 90 to 85 again could have should have but just didn't but kavi priyan excellent quizzing absolutely excellent quizzing some very very nice answers and some very very quick answers that means uh, kavi priyan you move on to the national semi finals congratulations very very good effort rituna and animesh well played very very well played and animesh this is just my suggestion to you any other quiz you're going on from here or next week or next month whatever don't start so late 
it's okay if you take a negative on the first question but go for it and keep scoring kautuk i'm more than anything i'm annoyed with you i'm actually annoyed with you how do you miss out on something like that uh, agreed it was a tough tough fight and kavipriyan was really good but you should have got that so but i'm not going to remind you of that very very good quizzing i understand you guys are really busy with loads of things happening in everyday life you'll well, take time prepare and come here and fight it out on a quarter final like this is excellent to watch kautuk good effort very very good effort kavipriyan congratulations i will see you in the semi final but i promise you semi final will be tougher than this so come try and you, you have time so try and prepare a little because semi final is not going to be easy okay and congratulations to all four of you for being on the national quarter finals of the wipro audience sustainable quiz thank you guys thank you so much thank you sir having said that ladies and gentlemen that brings us to the end of yet another outstanding battle at wipro audience sustainability quiz this is the eighth edition i am lloyd saldana your quiz master and i will see you back with more quizzing and more questions and more battles till then take care